Welcome to the MapMe desktop tutorial. In this video, we'll go over MapMe and how you can navigate it and how you can prepare for our STEM Expo event on April 27th. This shows the link that we will send to you, viewer.mapme.com backslash STEM Expo. With this link, we show the campus map, which is shown on the screen here, that shows all of the buildings that are being used for Expo, food locations, and different outdoor exhibits that we have. From this, you can see that we are using Busby and Sesquicentennial Hall, Ottensman Hall, and Babel Hall to show all of our exhibits that we have in the STEM field. We also have a few outdoor exhibits shown in the green icon here. This orange and blue path that's highlighted along the route uh, shows the sidewalk that we recommend you using to navigate through Expo as it provides the fastest route and we have a crosswalk guard here uh, when crossing the road. Also, these blue icons show entrances that we recommend you using. So for Ottensman Hall and Babel entrances, we recommend that you enter on the lower level since that's where projects will be held. For Busby and Sesquicentennial Hall, the entrance on this side of the building are both on the second level, and that's where we would like for you to enter it so you don't have to walk around to the back side of the building. On the left here, you can see the menu that we have to help navigate Expo. One thing that I'd like to highlight is a directory of projects. This list contains all exhibits that we have for Expo where you can read through them, click on them, and learn more about them. When you click on one of these, it will give you a brief description about the project and also tell you where it's at. So this is on the lower level map in Busby Hall. If we'd like to go to that specifically, we can open the project and map details, and that will take us to that project. Now that we're on the lower level map, we can see all the projects on the lower level. This, shows, this is shown by green squares of exhibits uh, with pink pins. By clicking on any of these pins, we are given then the description um, as well as the time. This is all day, which will be from 10 to two. And then we can also see the feedback form, which will be highlighted in the phone tutorial video. We can also click on other pins if we'd like to navigate to other projects um, on the same floor. If I'd like to go back to the lower level map, I can continue to click the back arrow until it's no longer visible. And then it shows me that I'm at the main menu of the lower level map. This text right here also shows which level, um, which map that I'm on in case I'm unaware. We do use four different maps for app, map me. The campus map is to help you navigate from building to building and the lower level, second level, and third level maps help show where um, food locations are as well as all of our exhibits. So by clicking on the second level map, I can then see all projects that are on the second level of each of the buildings. Now Ottensman Hall, we do not have exhibits on the second level, but we do in Babel Hall. Um, so pins are shown there as well. Then by zooming in, I can look at all of the different projects and figure out which I would like to go to. By clicking on each of these pins, I then have the time, title, uh, room number, and a quick description here. If I'd like to navigate to a different map, I can also click that as well. One thing I'd also like to highlight is this announcements tab here. So by clicking on this button, you can see the different announcements that we would like to send out. These are all sent out at different times and we will indicate the time within the description here and then by clicking on that, you can see the actual announcement that we are sending out. There's then an X up here where we can get rid of the announcement. We can also see different food locations. Now, since we're on the second level, it's only showing us food locations on the second level. Um, but if we were to go to the campus map, it will show us all food locations um, on, on campus. Um, if we were to look up either an exhibit or a food sale location that is not on our current map, uh, we can use the search bar up at the top. Uh, so by using this search bar, right now I'm on the campus map, but I will look up a reaction time project. Um, so this is actually on our third level map. Um, and by searching that, then I can open that project map in details. Uh, so you're able to search projects within the map that you're on, as well as um, other maps. By then going back, I'm now on the third level map 
uh, since that's where the project is that I searched up, and I can navigate through the third floor. Uh, moving my picture out of the way, uh, there's this target icon here that says find my location. Now this isn't very beneficial when you're looking um, at MapMe on the computer, but this is very nice when using it the day of. Uh, we plan on having individuals use their phones to navigate uh, Expo with MapMe so that we uh, move towards a paperless event. So by clicking on this, um, it shows my current location. Now this is a university computer, so it's not too good at finding my location. And I'm sure your computer won't locate you in Platteville either. Um, but with the phone, you can use this then to find your current location within the building. So then you can navigate through that building and also through campus. Um, one other thing to point out is we are on the third level here. Um, so we do have restrooms labeled in orange, uh, as well as elevators and stairs labeled in yellow. Um, so this is just a brief run through through MapMe. Uh, there will be a second video coming out on how to use your phone um, and maybe some different beneficial ways to do that. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to re reach out um, and maybe practice using MapMe before uh, Expo Day on April 27th. We look forward to seeing you.